We've learned the Park City Mountain Resort employee who died yesterday when a tree fell onto a ski lift was a 29 year old man from Mill Creek. A Summit County Sheriff spokesman says tomorrow the office will release his name. Meanwhile, Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle explains the rules for ski lifts and trees and who's examining what happened. My 19 plus years of law enforcement, I've never heard of something like this happening, at least here in Summit County. Summit County Sheriff's Captain Andrew Wright spent Tuesday learning about what killed an employee on the Canyons Village side of Park City Mountain Resort. A large pine tree fell onto the chairlift itself, the cable, which caused some oscillating of the, of the chair itself. Unfortunately, there was a male that we now understand as a, a, an employee of Vail Resorts, um, was on, ski, on the ski patrol team. Uh, unfortunately, he fell out of the chair um, a pretty significant uh, distance. Wright says other patrollers skied into the chest deep snow to help their comrade, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. A spokeswoman for the resort and its owner, Vail, said company policy requires employees restrain themselves by lowering the safety bar when riding the lifts. Wright said investigators are trying to determine if the bar was down in Monday's accident. The accident happened up that mountain on a lift called Shortcut about 10.45 a.m. Monday. Investigators are still trying to figure out why the tree fell. As Fox 13 News reported last year, ski lifts in Utah are regulated by a division of the Utah Department of Transportation that ski lifts should have a five foot clearance um, around them when they're operating from vegetation, tree branches, trees, anything of that sort. But, said Robert Miles, director of traffic and safety at UDOT, the standards say only trees that are dying or look as if they are about to fall need to be cleared. During an inspection that would be noted and it would be their responsibility to resolve that issue. Yes, of course, we've had a lot of snow over the last several days. Um, there could be several factors that cause that tree to fall. Our, our focus obviously is on the death itself, um, you know, as, as unfortunate and tragic as it is, um, and to bring closure to the family. Besides UDOT and the Sheriff's Office, the Utah Office of Occupational Safety and Health confirmed today that it too will investigate what is a workplace death. In Park City, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.